Hey guys, it's Million Dollar Bill y'all again. Um, finally coming, finally coming at you guys with a video. I know it's been a long time. I'm just busy with school and stuff. It's kind of hard to make videos, but um, I'll 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 try and make videos when I can. Um, this video right here is a bit of a rant video, or is a rant video about YouTuber Maple Leafs fan seven eight seven eight zero seven eight nine zero nine. Sorry. Or Mason Martin. Um, so I, I don't. If you follow a few people on YouTube, you can see that um, they've done rant videos about him scamming. Um, he has, in fact, scammed me as well. Uh, I'll just go over the deal that I did with him. This is a long time ago. Um, I mean, like not long time ago, like maybe August, September. I just never got around to making the video. Mostly because what I what I he kind of scanned me wasn't really that worth it. Like I mean, sorry, it wasn't that much, luckily. So um, first, I'll show you um, from what I'm hearing from everyone else. He's saying like uh, I think Nutty Muddy made a video. He is like a scan. He's obviously a scammer, and that he's saying that they that they never received their cards from him, and he's saying that too. He did in fact say that to me. Multiple times, I talked to him over Facebook and Skype, which I never usually do over trading because I don't like to. But I was getting scammed, so I was trying to get desperate here and trying to get in contact with him. I think we made two trades. One was a JVR gold victory rookie card for a Spezza artifacts number to a hundred, and the other one was like a two uh, UD game jersey of Jason Allison and a uh, had Belfort ice jersey for like a Bozak. He said it was a Bozak Young Gun number to 100, so I should have known better that he probably he didn't even have it. But so he didn't, in fact, send me something, and I sh I put a video up on my on my channel. So first, the first thing about him is the package came in just like a normal envelope. I don't know if you can see it says "Do not bend, enjoy your card." So uh, he definitely takes somewhat care, I guess. Cause he's an okay trader fee. He uh, said, do not bend, but this is not an acceptable shipping, especially. Um, and then inside, he put, thanks for the trade. And then he says, ah, you guys can't really see this. I'll come to the light. Oh, shit, sorry. Okay, sorry. Uh, it says, I hope we make more trades in the future. Sorry for the, I think, what does it say? Sorry for the wait, turnover. And this is sloppy signings. Whatever, this is an, his autograph. Mason Martin is his name. Um, but anyways, this I don't know what deal this was. He lied to me multiple times about sending the cards. Told me he did, never did. But he sent me a bunch of cards that I didn't want. I, I never told him to send. And he sent them poor shipping. So first he sent me this. Uh, Phil Kessel. I think this is a giant rookie card. I don't really want this. I don't know what to do with it. And he used black electrical tape to tape it all over. So there's that. And then he sent me a bunch of these cards. He sent me like a Lemieux destined for the hall. But like these cards aren't in great shape. Like if I can get that. The corners kind of dinged up. These were not put in top loaders. This is how I got it. They were just thrown in a team bag. A dirty team bag. <laughs> if that was just like taped with, uh, with, it, with um, the electrical tape. I got a rookie card of Alex Steen. Once again, I didn't ask for any of these cards. I just wanted the one, the Spezza number two hundred, and the Young Gun that I I don't know why I thought I would get. Uh, Canada Greats of Price. These aren't too bad damaged. Then I have a Couture Victory rookie card. That's got a bit right there, I think. Maybe not. I don't know. A Paul Stastny Victory rookie card. Um, it's got a bit right here. And then a Samsonov, so random Samsonov beauty game jersey. That was, it was in the, it was in a sleeve, but it was the only one, and it was a jersey card. I don't know, uh, so six or seven. But, like, these are just a bunch of cards that I, don't, I didn't ask for, so I don't really want them. And I'm not, I don't know if I, if I should trade them or something. He told, uh, he makes all these stories up, he told me that they were someone else's cards, and then he, I don't know, he's just a lot, 
He's just a dishonest trader, a liar. Definitely not someone to trade with. Uh, luckily, like I said, I didn't trade that much with him, so it's not. It's um the only thing that was really that worth it was the JVR Victory Gold. The two Jersey cards were pretty much worthless, but I would still. It still sucks to lose something that uh, was yours. Um, and then the other part of this is that he he said he has cancer. Uh, I don't know what to say about this because it's uh, obviously a serious matter about life and death, uh, probably. I don't know if he's lying or not. Some people are saying he's lying. I don't really have any proof to show that, so I'm not going to say that he's lying. Um, but although if he did, I mean, that's just, that's beyond cards. That's just a horrible thing to do in general, and I don't know. I've, I've heard people do, people do that. That's like a criminal offense, although it's not anything, like, it's not anything you could probably do, do on he, no, there's nothing you could do, like, get in trouble on YouTube for, I don't think. But I'm not going to really comment about that. Um, I mean, if he is lying, that's horrible. But if he's not, then you got to respect him. you got to respect his privacy about that. Um, but the, the, basically, the, uh, the moral of the story is do not trade with Maple Leafs fan 7809. He will scam you. Uh, his other name is Mason Martin. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. So, guys, uh, thanks for watching, and, uh, I'll see you guys later. Okay, bye.